Hey guys, so I got a question about some of the more exotic meats or protein sources, some of the just unique stuff that I eat because I, I post it on, sometimes I'll post it on Instagram and Facebook and stuff and somebody asked me a question about what are some of my favorites or some of my staples. So um, I actually just got an order of some things in today, so I figured it'd be good to just go over what I got. Now I do rotate through things, so um, there's like there's several different sites that I'll go through uh, different places that I'll order from. Usually look for sales and look for, you know, what can I get in bulk? Like right now I have a bunch of grass-fed beef in my freezer. Um, won't have to get any of that for a little bit. I've been eating on that for a little while, so, you know, I didn't order any. Uh, and other times, you know, there'll be other stuff on sale or, um, you know, what have you. So I'll get I'll get in bulk. But what I'll show you what I actually got today and uh, go from there. All right, so... <clears throat> All right, so today I got several things. First one, um, the grass-fed beef liverwurst, which I posted about this several times. So liverwurst is essentially just grass-fed beef, beef liver, beef hearts, and beef kidney. And then there's some spices in there, onion powder, white pepper, coriander, uh, some various things, and sea salt. So, I mean, it's it's ready to eat. It's ready to go. Slice it open. You can eat it like, think of a... Uh, Think of like the summer sausage where you could, you know, you'd put on a cracker or something. Well, I mean, this is essentially ready to go in that regard. You just slice it off and uh, it's ready to go. So I'll typically take it and um, I'll cut off the amount that I need and eat it with my meal. I might just literally eat it with the meal and just eat it. Or I might put it in the meal because it mixes into pretty much any other meats, egg whites, um, you know, whatever. And it tastes really, really good. So <clears throat> with this... Um, this is like macro wise, this is about five grams of protein and two grams of fat per, um, per ounce. So, I mean, it's, it's a little, you know, it's obviously a little bit more fattier than something like chicken tenderloin or egg whites or something, but it's not, you know, it's not super high fat, like some of the higher fat stuff that I'll show you here. Uh, so this is awesome. Tastes really good. All right. So next one is... I don't even know how to say this. The Braun <laughs> Bruan Schwieger. It's obviously German. So that can stand for a lot of things. Um, it can be the name of different sausages and things of that nature. So I've actually never tried this, but it was on sale and it had, uh, it's similar, like profile wise, it's similar to the beef liver. It has beef, beef, and beef liver, uh, but the actual macros of this are a little bit higher fat supposed to be a little bit more mild in taste. Now, I I don't know if I'll ever order again. I'm sure I'll probably like it. Um, I, I do like the stronger taste of the liverwurst though, so um, you know, I'll give this a go and uh, work it into the macros. So let's see. Okay, so next one. Here's a higher fat one though. Um, lamb tongues. So you can see it is, yeah, you can definitely tell higher fat there. You can see, you can basically see the tongues um, <clears throat> all right. So these are, these are obviously going to be a higher fat protein source can be, you know, mixture. It's about 50, 50 macro wise. It's about 50% protein, 50% fat, give or take calorically. It's obviously higher fat calories, but you know, in terms of grams, it's about 50, 50, give or take. So, um, <clears throat> with these, you know, it's coming from grass fed, grass finished cow, you know, it's going to have a good fatty acid profile. I haven't had tongues in a really long time, so um, should be should be good. Hopefully, I can cook it right. I'm not. I'm really not that good at cooking. Like I post the stuff, and I'm not that good at cooking. I like the liverwurst because it's already prepared, and I mean I can cook. I, I can cook well. It's just I I choose not to. So if I can microwave something, that's awesome. So I'm gonna have to cook these, but should be good. Okay, so. All right. Okay. Next is reach over here. See, I got a couple packs of this uh, wild sockeye salmon's from Vital Choice. It's they sell it on U.S. Wellness Meats too. Though Vital Choice has their own website. I've never ordered off them. This stuff was on sale too. It's normally kind of expensive, but um, I, I like I said it was on sale. So thought I'd try it out. I do like salmon. This is boneless and skinless. Uh, sometimes I get the salmon with the skins. And we actually eat the skins as well. 
and the skins are actually really nutritional and the skins taste pretty good too. It's just, that's not what I, you know, that's not what I got this time. Um, you know, so I ended up with boneless skinless, which is okay. Um, obviously omega three content, very high and omega threes. Uh, biggest thing with the fish is yeah, it's wild caught, but beyond that, you know, it's where it's sourced from and certain, in certain, you know, climates uh where the water certain temperatures and that makes a difference in you know what you're getting with the meat so yep that is that's what we got here a couple pouches of this and next one this was on sale obviously this is nothing special chicken tenderloin so boneless chicken tenderloins it's just going to be uh free range chickens that are you know obviously ranging on uh grass and some kind of it's organic non-gmo feeds and you know whatever else they they have out there for them so they just basically roam around and uh and eat yeah it's gonna now the thing about this too <laughs> is that i do feel that the chi th like this kind of chicken does taste a little bit better but it's not as important to buy like grass-fed for example if the the impact that it has on the fatty acid profile isn't going to be very significant on something that doesn't have much fat same with organic i mean um yeah there's other things that go into the animal in terms of buying it organic or not or any other food but with a meat source like a lot of the if you want to talk about toxins or something along those lines i mean a lot of the toxins are stored in adipose so i mean if it's not a very fatty source then you know it's not that important um to have with livers like i do like with the livers that or organ meats that they, they are processing a lot of um they are processing a lot of the toxins toxic load that the animal's taking in things that we process every day whether it's stuff we breathe in or stuff that we eat uh, you know we're made to process those things obviously you're gonna have a lot more of that being stored in the, that tissue so having that organic is going to be a little bit more significant so all right and and the organ meats luckily are cheaper honestly like the organ meats uh not always depending on what it is but a lot of the organ meats are normally cheaper than regular beef like regular like getting your ground beef and they're certainly cheaper than steak almost always so um okay last one is i have a couple flavors of these pork rinds all right so pork rinds obviously pretty pretty self-explanatory um they have Biggest difference here between this and you know your store bought pork rind is just basically looking at looking at what they for one you know how the the pig was raised itself and then what do they fry it in so cool thing about these is the pigs raised free range you know so they're ranging on eating whatever they normally eat in a pasture and then they're also um, going to take the pork lard and it'll show you right here pork skins pork lard they're going to actually use the same pork lard from the same pig and fry the pork rinds so. That makes, you know, obviously makes sense to do so, but you're getting a higher quality fatty acid profile that way. And, uh, you end up with, do they taste better? Like, I think they do taste different. They actually, I mean, they taste different. Now, one of the things that's different too about these is if you get plain pork rind from the grocery store, for example, they, they normally have pork skins or, you know, whatever they say, pork, uh, whatever, you know, however they label it and maybe and probably salt now the flavored ones normally have msg now the msg is going to make it taste a little bit different am i going to freak out about a little bit of msg consumption no i am not really because it's not gonna you know it's not going to kill you so but i it does obviously contribute to the flavor i mean people have chinese food msg like it make it obviously gives it a certain taste so these do taste different and this is a barbecue and this is original original is just pork skins lard sea salt the barbecue has uh, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, ground mustard, oregano, uh, black pepper, turmeric, and cayenne pepper. So, yeah, so there's some more flavor. And I mix it up and you know, eat it with whatever. So, that's it, guys. That is all for this order. Um, there is a bunch of other stuff I get. I mean, I've definitely, definitely have gotten all kinds of different stuff, different animals um, in terms of red meats. Uh, I mean, maybe next time I'll get, when I get some different stuff in, I'll, uh, I'll go over that, but that's it for today. So hope you guys enjoyed.